So today I'm gonna be trying out the trendy bubble nail that I've been seeing almost every Korean nail artist do. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about these type of bubble nails. As you can see, the bubbles are in there, but they don't move, so it's not like a liquid nail. But I love these little jelly colors. I love this one. It looks like soda, like the little bubbles and the big bubbles. I think I like the big bubbles just by themselves though, but Anyway, we're gonna try it out. So there's a few different techniques, but I think I'm gonna use this one. I have no idea what all of this says. So if you speak Japanese and can read Japanese, let me know. But I love how this artist did it. And I think I'm gonna go for this one. Pretty much you're like sticking a syringe in uncured gel and making bubbles. So, I'm gonna try it out. So I gotta do a little bit of prep. I just took off my secret door nails. If y'all didn't see that video from last week, check it out. But I use a peel off base coat, so that's why it's looking a little, you know, eh. <laughs> but this was just like a regular base coat that I put underneath the peel off base coat. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just lightly file it off with my e-file. But yeah, I'm just gonna lightly take this off. You know, you can definitely soak this off if you want to, but it'll be all right. Just make sure to be really gentle. And at the same time, I'm gonna take the shine away from my nails. And I'm using my non-dominant hand to hold the drill, so it may look a little weird, but I got it. <laughs> all right, nails are prepped. And I'm gonna be using these corn tips again. I really like the shape of these and how they fit me and all that good stuff. And I think it'd be cute to have some stiletto bubble nails. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick out my sizes. So I got all of my tips picked out and I do need to do a little bit of shaping with these. I like the way they fit and how they feel when they're on, but just around the cuticle. Oh, y'all, I'm ashy, y'all, it's okay. <laughs> Uh, but around the cuticle area, it does kind of overlap a little bit. So with any of these type of gel -X dupes, you want to make sure to make the cuticle area the same size as your cuticle. Otherwise, it's going to lift up. Or even worse, you can have like a gel reaction if like the gel is on your skin. We don't want that. We just want to make sure. Oh, see, look. Perfect. All right, so I'm just gonna do that with all of these because I like for my stuff to look like they're not press on, so. Another thing I wanna show you that I'm doing is filing the top of the nail near the cuticle area. I find that this just kinda make it not look like it's just sitting on the nail. It kinda slopes down to your cuticle area. And you can do more filing once you put it on, but. I'm gonna use a peel off base coat with this, so I can't do too much filing. So this is kind of my workaround for that. I'm not sure if you can tell the difference, but it just, it just fits better. Now I'm gonna go in with my base coat. I like this one. I like how it evens out my nail and all that good stuff. So we're gonna go with this one. And like before, I'm just going to have a really thin coat of this because this base coat is thick. <laughs> but when I was taking off my secret door nails, it didn't hurt. <laughs> like I was telling y'all, sometimes when I use the Jello Jello base, uh, peel off base coat, sometimes it be a little, it be feeling like I'm pulling a little too much. But this time it didn't feel like that. Like my nails don't feel sore. You know, that could just be me. I haven't heard anybody else talk about like how painful it is sometimes to peel off the gel. Even with waiting and all that, you have to put like that one kill uh, gel remover stuff on and you have to wait and you gotta pry and it's just, yeah. It's not as easy as Junel makes it look. <laughs> like I said, I really love how this base coat kind of just fills in. What is y'all preference? Do y'all prefer like a thinner base gel or do you like your base gel to be a little thick? I'm a little indecisive. I think it depends on what I'm doing. Sometimes I like a really thin base coat. I like this one too. It's starting to kind of level out and fill itself in. I'm gonna go ahead and cure this. And now I'm gonna go in with the Jello Jello Peel Off Base Coat. So this base coat is a lot thinner than the one that I just used. So it shouldn't add too much bulk to the nail. I also wanna make sure that it's on the entire nail because when it's time to take these off, I wanna be able to just, they just pop off. <laughs> 
So this was the same way that I did the secret door nails and those came off very easily. So hopefully these will do the same. All right, so we got all of the base and stuff on and I decided I'm gonna try something. I really liked how strong this rubber base gel was from a prey. So we gonna see if it's gonna like work with doing this. And of course I got my Melody Susie gooseneck nail lamp. I commend myself for doing this for like all the other ways with them little lamps, but this right here makes it so easy. I'm gonna leave a link to this one because this one's really good. And yeah, you just do that. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna take a little bit of this. Because we're doing bubble nails, I'm not gonna be too picky if there's bubbles in this. I prefer it not be, hopefully not, but you know, we'll see. So we're gonna put some in here. I'm gonna do it straight out because that's how I ensure that it's straight. Cause y'all know I will <laughs> adhere some nails on crooked. Okay, all right. Okay, I should have had this light on. Let's cut them on. I'm gonna go ahead and cure. So this is just like a flash cure to kind of hold it in place. But after all the nails are on, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my full strength lamp just to make sure everything is cured. Even though we're having fun at home with our nails, we don't want to cause any gel allergies or anything like that. So no uncured gel. We, we wanna make sure everything is cured, okay? Cause some of them videos on TikTok been scaring me about like gel allergies. <laughs> All right, like that. When you are working with this lamp, you wanna make sure to cut off the lamp part of it. Otherwise you'll be carrying your stuff before you get a chance to put it on. You know, it's like a regular desk lamp. And then once you hit the curing button on top, it turns into the UV LED curing lamp. And once again, just gonna place it down like so. Oh. <laughs> I don't want this on my cuticle like this. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on. So I was in the middle of flash carrying this and I got a little bit of gel spilling out. And I do like that the base gel, the rubber base doesn't cure like really fast. So if you do get some, you're able to get it off. Isn't that awesome? All right, so I do want to clean up a little bit around the cuticle area. So we're just gonna wipe off the tacky layer. And we're just gonna slowly work this around. More so on my ring fingernail. It just doesn't lay flat enough. So we just gonna fix that. And then I'm just buffing the nails. So now I'm gonna go in with the regular base coat just to smooth everything out. And we're just gonna apply this. Oh, I like this brush. So I'm gonna be using these Jelly Gel Polishes. These are from Nails by Dev, and this is her collaboration with Ball Pit Addict. And I haven't tried them yet, but it's gonna be perfect for this nail design. So I'm gonna start with this little turquoise color. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh. Okay, all right, so I'm just gonna go in. Looks like maybe one coat might be good enough for this. This is very pigmented. For the next one, I'm gonna try to do an ombre. So I'm gonna just do some on this side. And then I'm gonna take the purple jelly and we're gonna put it on this side. And just gonna use the lighter color to kind of blend this. Hopefully this will work a little bit. And then making sure to wipe my brush before I put it back in the bottle. Yeah, just, I think that's a work. Ooh, that is starting to look like something. Okay, and next I'm gonna do the purple to pink. Ooh, so we're gonna put the purple on this side. I'm trying to use the least amount of gel polish. These gel polishes are really good. And then I'm gonna go on this side with the pink. 
I wasn't expecting the jelly to have this much pigment, but my goodness, this is nice. Then I'm just gonna use the light color to blend. Just with a very soft, ooh. And it blends so easily. That didn't even take that much work. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. I'm gonna put this on this side. Like I said, I'm trying to use the least amount because this one looks really pigmented. And then we're gonna go in with this pink. Oh yeah, I think I'm gonna like this combination better. Okay, so that's what we got. And then as before, I'm just gonna use the brush to try to blend this together. That blue ain't budging. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna need a brush. Okay, I'm just going to just lightly use my brush to kind of blend these together. Vertical ombres are always a challenge. There's so many ways to do them. So I'm gonna put a drop of blue and a drop of pink and I'm going to do one side blue and one side pink. Let's see if that'll help me. Okay, that does help a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna leave it just like that because I think that looks good. All right, let me go ahead and cure. It's gonna be dark blue to the turquoise. Like before, I'm gonna do the blue, the darkest color first. Since these are pretty similar, I think I can kind of just mix them together. All right, we got all of our colors on. Don't mind that. <laughs> I probably need to wipe this with alcohol. Yeah, I just wanna make sure I don't have any lint on any of these nails. Okay, so now we're gonna get to the fun part, the bubble nails. So what you're gonna need is some clear gel. I'm using the Crystal Clear Builder Gel from Red Iguana. And you're gonna need a syringe. Y'all know with all the aquarium nails that I've done, <laughs> I have a ton of these, but you wanna make sure that, you know, it's a cosmetic one. You don't need to have the needle or anything like that. And one of these little flash cure lights, just something really quick to cure it very fast without curing it all the way. You'll understand in just a second. All right, so I'm just gonna grab a good amount of gel. You're gonna have to like grab a glob and I'm gonna put it right in the center. And we're just gonna grab a little bit more. You kinda wanna have it thick. Uh, I want mine to be like an oval. But yeah, you want the, the layer, this layer of gel to be kinda thick cause we, cause this is how we're gonna make our bubbles. So I'm just gonna try to kind of have it as just like in this area. So yeah, when you look on the side, she thick. All right, so this is the tricky part here. A lot of people, when I was looking at videos, they kind of struggle with this. <laughs> so it's gonna take a little trial and error, but so you take your curing lamp and we're only gonna do like four seconds. Like that. And then you're gonna take your syringe and you're gonna make sure to pull it up so you get some air in there. And then we're gonna poke it. <laughs> we're gonna poke it and put some, and put a bubble in there. Okay, see this one is not cure enough. It's kind of hard to know how much to cure. So it's just like a trial and error thing. All right, let's try it again. <laughs> so. Oh, okay. All right, it's not really cured enough. Let's see if we can do something about this. I'm gonna let it flow and we're gonna try to cure it one more time. Okay, so we're just gonna la 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 la. I swear you don't wanna cure it all the way or is it just gonna be a big bubble of gel? And then the key is to slowly put the air in. So let me make sure I'm slowly doing that. Oh my goodness, it's not working. Let me try one more time. 
Okay. <laughs> Let's see if this works. Okay. All right. You slowly put the air bubble in there. Okay, I don't know if this one gonna work. Let's see if I do it this way. <laughs> Ugh, this ain't working. That didn't turn out right. <laughs> Let's see if I can get this off. Okay, so yeah, if it if it don't work, since it's not fully cured, I'm just gonna go ahead and peel it off. Boo. Okay, so another way that you can do it, because there's several different ways. So I'm gonna use another method to do this. Let me try this way. <laughs> so the next method is you take the gel. I think this one probably might be the easiest. And you kind of just go in a circle, creating like a border of gel. And Just going to make sure to put, you know, just a, just a good amount. And then you take the same size tip that you used and we're gonna just put it on top like that. And then, you, ooh, I don't wanna get gel on me. And then you squeeze it. Okay. <laughs> Let me clean this up because it's getting out of hand. You see what I'm saying? This is this is how you this is how you do it. All right, and then we just go on and adhere this somehow. <laughs> All right, so I have my nail. Okay, y'all kind of see what was happening, and I'm just gonna squeeze it down. Oh, that's creating a nice little bubble. I know I'm all over the place, y'all, but I'm trying, <laughs> trying to do something cool here, and then. We're just gonna cure that. Ooh, there goes some bubbles. <laughs> All right, so then you want to just go ahead and fill the gaps with gel. And just fill in the gaps. Ooh. All right, I have it fully covered. Looks like one continuous nail. All right, so we're gonna continue. I'm gonna do this method, cause uh, yeah, it's just easier. So I guess it does depend on what type of gel you're gonna use. Um, I was just, I don't know. I thought maybe I just use this. <laughs> cause everyone else used like some type of clear builder gel or somewhat. So I thought, okay, I got some of that. Mm, this might be too much. There isn't like any rhyme or reason of how I'm putting the gel on. I'm just trying to make, you know, a somewhat thick border and then you kind of just smush it down and see what you get. So, we just gonna push this down. Ooh, bubbly. Okay, and then again, I'm gonna need my handy dandy nail lamp. Okay, I don't like how that one turned out. <laughs> Moving along. Yeah, this technique is a little difficult, okay? I don't know. I just think it's funny how we always try to not get bubbles in our nails. And then this trend is all about putting as many bubbles in your nails as you can. Why are we like this? <laughs> uh, so yeah, we got this long bubble here. I guess it, it'll be all right. So I'm pretty much just gonna feel around, make everything smooth. Okay, I mean, I guess it don't look that bad, but I wish it was more bubbly. <laughs> and then I just kind of fill in the tip as well. All right, let's see if we can make better bubbles this time. Okay, so this time I'm gonna try not to use too much gel. <laughs> it's just a constant going back and forth, like what to do. I think this should probably create the bubbles that we want. And then I'm gonna do like something in the middle right here. That should help. All right, and then let's just put this on and see what we get. Okay, so it's it started to do a little something. Uh, I think I wanna put a little bit more kind of right here. 
and right here. I think that'll help. Keyword, think. <laughs> All right, so let's do this again. Grabbing the nail lamp back out and I just want to gently push it down. I think I'm just going to, I'm just going to go with what I have. Yeah, I don't know. I'm trying, but this one came out the best. Mm, moving along. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm just using too much. I don't understand. I don't understand why mine not coming out good. Okay, I'm gonna just lose like a small amount. Let's see if that works. I'm just gonna go with that. Let's see. Let's see what this does. Oh. Okay. See, I'm getting like long bubbles instead of like not long bubbles. <laughs> that is not exactly what I'm going for. Uh, let me try the other method. Let me see if I can perfect that. All right, so we're going to put some gel down. This is some great practice for working with gel, though. <laughs> and now we just one, two, three, four, five, six. Hopefully that's not too cured. It's not cured at all. All right, let me do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that didn't like that too much. <laughs> Let's see if I go in this way. Oh, the bubble kind of just disappear. Trying to keep it big. Okay, I got a bubble, I got a bubble. All right, I want to do one more. Let's see. Okay, I'm probably, let's see if I can do one over here. You gotta really, oh no, I busted that one. <laughs> no. Let's see if I can at least get one like right here. And we don't want it to be like that. Oh, it disappeared. <laughs> I should have left it alone. Oh, I messed it up. <laughs> I messed it up. I'm going to get that big bubble back. <laughs> I'm going to get him back. All right. I'm going to let all the gel pull down for a second. Okay. Let's try again. Okay. I think this is probably all I'm able to do. Cause the more I keep messing with it, the more I keep messing it up. Like I don't want the bubble on the side. I want it in the middle. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and cure this cause this is the best it's gonna get. <laughs> all right. So this is what we got. Yeah, so when you do it this way, next you kind of just want to add some more gel to kind of smooth everything out. So that's what we're doing. They're kind of sticking out too bad, but that's okay. So yeah, I'm just trying to fill this in. Oh yeah, this bubble too high. Yeah, they said if the bubble is too high, then you're most likely going to file through it. Oh. Now it looks like eyeballs. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna go back to the other technique that seems to <laughs> work a little better for me. This is just gonna take a lot of practice. I mean, it seemed easy enough. I thought I could do it, <laughs> but this hard. Will y'all give this a try? The soda pop nails. <laughs> Like I said, you know, it depends on what type of gel you're using and all them different factors. This is really, an artist technique. Can our final one please have some bubbles? 
some real bubbles. All right, we're going to sit you down. Okay, so it'll be something like that. That is the thing with these type of nails is that you never really know how it's going to come out. It's truly a work of art. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm just going to just sit it on top. <sighs> it's all right. It's going to have to do. So, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I tried, I tried. Look at this eyeball on the side. Ugh, yuck. So yeah, I'm not too happy with none of these, except for this one. This one came out perfect. And then the other four times, it's like, what happened? I don't know, I'm just trying to smooth this out. I'm so glad I used the peel off base coat because yeah, these are coming right off. I need to do more practice. I'm gonna practice more on like the nail tips on a stand. Try to get the technique down, cause this is hard. This is way harder than what I thought it was gonna be. But yeah, <laughs> the colors are cute, but oh my God, these did not turn out nowhere near what was in my head. And sometimes it bees like that, okay? <laughs> All right, so that, <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Even if I file it. All right, wait, yeah, I'm gonna I'm file it. I'm gonna see how I like it afterwards. I'm not gonna like it. I just, I just burst the bubble right there. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna add our top coat. Oh, see this one. This one turned out really good. This one looks like bubbles. I'm happy with that one. Just for the sake of the tutorial, you know, I guess I can put the top coat on the rest of the nails. <laughs> but I do appreciate you guys sitting through <laughs> and watching me stumble through this new technique. I know everyone thinks that I make nails look easy. And you know, for the most part, I can agree with you and say that I do. They, there are those things that, you know, Evie can't do. Can't do well yet. Uh, I may attempt this again, you know, you know. I really like these jelly polishes though. I'll have to use them again in a proper nail design. <laughs> so here is the finished look. And um, we just gonna concentrate on this one. Look at that bubble nail. This wasn't like a total fail because this one worked out, but you know, we're just not gonna look at the rest of them. <laughs> so if y'all enjoy me struggling to try new nail designs, check out these videos right here. And I will talk to you in the next one. Peace.